Yeah, of course there's the, the technical side and how much training you've had in the, in, in the past or the present, but, uh, but it still all adds up to different ages processed differently, uh, joint lubrication and ranges of motion mm. and strength levels. Um, but also I've had, you know, I've found that very young women can come into the class sometime or men and they're actually very deconditioned individuals. So we have to work at a real baseline to mm -hmm. get them up to speed and more and more as I'm teaching my method, I'm understanding that. Um, so you have to factor in all these things as you're working. And I think what I try to do is get out of the, 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 the visual box of what you think a ballet class should look like or from my memory bank of being a professional and looking at ballet on a daily basis but that's at like the NBA level so when you're working with adults and adult beginners you have to start to think about how they're processing how they're working and it's great because you see them progress you see them make progress you see them reach their goals and uh, it's, it's really rewarding to watch people develop in that way. It's, um, and it's incredible. And you see, uh, even in the confusion and in the frustration, the tremendous effort that's being put forth from these people. And then you compound that and you think, they're working day jobs. You know, they're, go they're, they're nurses, they're doctors, they're accountants, and they work nine to five. And they're coming into my studio now, and they're working as hard as any pre-professional group of young dancers I've ever seen. Mm. My adults work that hard. They work just as hard. And so when you see this, it's, it doesn't matter if they mess up the combination in my book or don't get it right because our people, they focus and they work hard. They challenge themselves. And I challenge them because I think that's part of the process. So, you know, I don't like to, you know, we, we, we keep it simple, but the people do need to be challenged. Mm -hmm. And I think they find in the minutia of the work because ballet has such, the ballet technique has such detail to it. And the technique is so vast. And so when I start plugging in these ideas of how we're working from our center or how we're gra being grounded into the floor, how we're stretching our spine and, 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 and holding ourselves or focusing our eyes or listening to the music or slowing down our movement or breathing, all these elements, when you start to introduce those ideas to people they go oh wow there's so much to this it's not just pointing my feet and looking you know like a ballerina there's a whole thing that goes underneath it yeah. to make it happen that's actually very interesting on a physical and intellectual level for mm -hmm. people and when they start to get that combination of all those ele elements together I think that's why they come back and that's why they stick with it because and that's why I stuck with it that's why I loved it it wasn't necessarily like I I, I was enchanted with photography of ballet at a very young age and I thought it looked so beautiful and mm. um, and that's what drew me into so I was seduced by the the the, beauty, the visual beauty of ballet but once I started doing it that's what kept me there was like this intricate technique and this, this method of training that was so deep and attacked your body so much in a, in a very gentle but powerful way. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think inspires people. The, I mean, the beauty of your classes are that it's intimidating to start as an adult to really try to learn ballet at, a, at, at a, an adult level. And so just to know that there's something there that we don't have to completely give up on, like, but I'm past 25, I can never even try to take ballet. And, and at least we can go there and enjoy it. And if we stay six weeks, great. If we stay for years, I feel like we could, which is very right. motivating, very exciting. Um, I think, what, getting back to your earlier question, what is one of the most difficult things about working with adults or the difference is that adults are very hard on themselves. Mm. They, and they have, you know, m the longer I teach and the more people that I work with, and we've worked with a lot of people this year and last year, um, the more sensitive I am to how sensitive they are. And I think from the very beginning, it was always my mission to create an open environment where people felt comfortable. And if you know, if you, if you remember, one of the first things I say in my class is, it's okay to make a mistake because that's when you know you're learning. You only learn by making mistakes. You only learn dance by first screwing it up. 
I don't think there's one dancer out there, Bob Fosse or Fred Astaire or Gene Kelly or Baryshnikov, who has not, at many times during their development, been absolutely frustrated with a certain dance step. Uh, it just happens. I mean, that's the process. It's a messy process. It's an uncomfortable process. And that's why I tell people to turn off their critic because when they begin to get frustrated, they start to say, I'm stupid. I'm uncoordinated. I can't get this. I'm not smart enough. And none of those things are true because they just have never done this before. They haven't had enough practice. They watch me. It looks easy. I've been doing it for 25 years. Um, the greatest dancers they see on YouTube, you know, they dial up Don Quixote and they watch Swan Lake or, or they watch, uh, you know, Lines Ballet or, or whatever and they think it's so easy. And, but the reality is it takes a lot of practice. So what we want people to understand is part of the process is messing it up. It's okay. I love to watch people mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great. I mean, because they see they're learning and they're trying. I just don't like when they get too frustrated. It's hard when they begin to beat themselves up too much because then actually it gets in the way. It gets in the way of them getting better. And because I've done the same thing. I've like stormed off into the corner and gone, I can't do this. I'll never be able to get this. And, um, and, and if you just stick around, if you just come back, and it's funny how the mind works, too, because I do believe, like, you absorb it. I, and when they get in their car and they drive home later on that night and they come back the next week, somehow their brain has been processing it. Somehow their body has been processing it. Processing it and the next class, they're better. And it's sa I know because the same hap thing happened when I was learning choreography, when I was in a ballet company, constantly learning new and different choreography, challenging and we would rehearse it, and it would feel terrible, and we'd come back, and somehow the next day it'd be better, hopefully. Um, and sometimes it would take a week, but it does always eventually get better. Excellent. Thank you so much Thank for you. taking the time to talk with me and to teach me and my to pleasure. make me feel comfortable and to improve my dancing. I highly recommend a line ballet, and I recommend any ballet for that matter, even just get just go do it because hopefully I don't know if you'll franchise in the future but um, it's it's a great program and it's a wonderful uh, wonderful chance for you to get more in touch with your ba body whether or not you stick with ballet or you're doing any other dance style so thank you thank you and thanks for watching dance with Aaliyah